don't believe that you are communicating with this person. I don't feel like the two of you are talking. I, I don't feel like you and this person are hanging out or seeing each other on a regular basis because you have the communicate. You've blocked out some form of communication with this person. You're not with the shits anymore with this person, unfortunately. And I believe that's because there's a third party here. So for a lot of you guys, you chose not to be a third party or you found out this per person was seeing someone else or they were cheating or this person just flat out chose another person. And whoever it is that this person chose over you is very controlling. They're very toxic. Um, there's a lot of back and forth and arguing in your within the connection between your person and whoever this karmic is that they chose. And don't get me wrong here because I don't, this masculine or this feminine, whoever, female, male or female doesn't matter here. They could be a karmic too, okay? This person definitely played games with you. They played mind games with you. They were back and forth between you and this other person. And I feel like you guys set up really strong boundaries and you let them go. You said enough is enough. And now this person is sitting back regretting everything. For some of you all, this person may have ghosted you or just completely stopped communicating um, with you. But that's not for everybody, right? I just definitely feel like a lot of you guys set boundaries with this person and you put your foot down and you're like enough is enough. This person is very insecure. I feel like they chose this karmic, you guys, because the karmic was easier. The karmic allowed them to get away with a bunch of bullshit. I feel like this person is a player. This is somebody here who cheats a lot. This person lies a lot. And for a lot of you all, the other person could be just as toxic. So keep that in mind, because the reason I say this other person is toxic is like toxic devil energy is out here, but... The karmic is jealous of you. So for a lot of you guys, like this karmic may know who you are. And for some of you, if this karmic doesn't know exactly who you are, then they have seen some form of communication between you and your person because they, this, this karmic went through your person's phone at some point. So if you haven't heard from them, which I don't feel like you really want to hear from them, but for a small few of you guys, you haven't heard from them, that's because this person, somebody's karmic went through their phone. And so they're like trying to allow this drama to die down and this back and forth and this arguing, okay? But this person wants you to take them off block if you have them on block and they want to call you or communicate with you and ask you to forgive them for the way that they treated you and for choosing somebody else. This person was very insecure and they were afraid that things wouldn't work out between the two of you because you required more work. You required like for this person to do right. You know what I'm saying? Like you weren't with the no, don't, you're not going to have me in a third party. You're not going to be able to do whatever. You know, you're going to have to be responsible when it comes to your money or your decisions. For a lot of you guys, I feel like this person is just not ready to let you go yet. And they want to know, like, if you're willing to take another chance on them. For some of you guys, this person could be, like, working on saving their money. They might be working, like, a second job or, like, a side gig or a side hustle or something here to save up their money to detach from somebody that they could potentially be, like, codependent on when it comes to finances, Okay. Now, if that's not the case with your person, then there's a side message here for a lot of you guys to be careful um, with the amount of money that you're spending. Like, make sure you're making balanced choices when it comes to spending. So save your money. Don't make any erratic, you know, purchases or like don't go spending large amounts of money. Think about it before you do it. A lot of you guys are also too focused on your finances and your career right now. You're like very career oriented. You have a goal. You're trying to save some money here and you're not going to waste it on just anything because you, you have a serious financial goal. So for some of y'all, that could be like to buy a new car, could be to buy a new house. All right, let's see what else. What's going on with this person? Show me this person's energy that wants the collective to unblock them. Show me this person's energy that wants the collective to unblock them. Yeah. Three of Pentacles. Two 
two of wands in reverse. This person wants to come towards you, but they don't have a strategy. They don't know how this is going to work. They're, they don't know how they're going to make this happen. I feel like this person knows that they come towards you, that they are going to have to change. They're going to have to make adjustments, you know, in their life. And they're just not there yet, especially with this two of wands being in reverse. They just don't know what to do. They know they want to come together towards you. They know they want to try to make this work. They just don't know how, okay? Or they don't have a plan yet, right? They're still trying to figure it out here. The hangman. Pisces energy here. Yeah, man, this person's stuck. Yeah, they're stuck. They just don't know what they want to do. Queen of Swords. So you 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 turned your back on this person. You were like, you know what? Like I said, Queen of Swords energy. This is you setting healthy boundaries for yourself. Put saying no more. Like you you were very direct. You put directly to the damn chase. You know, you say what you need to say. You mean what you need. You, yeah. They feel like you, guess what came out after the Queen of Swords, the five of, the five of Pentacles. They feel like, well, damn, you just cut me off. You don't have anything else to say to me. You just like, maybe you're the one who ghosted this person and cut them off and blocked them. They feel abandoned by you. They feel rejected by you. They feel like you were really harsh with them. Um, for some of you all, this person may have put you in a really un uh, ri ridiculous situation when it comes to money. A lot of you guys have decided to look away from this situation and focus on your money, focus on what you like, what your creative passions are, like what you love to do in life. You're going to just decide to focus on that stuff and not focus on this person. Which is good because you're in the energy of fertility here with this Ace of Wands. Um, this person's not happy without you though. The Sun card in reverse, you could be dealing with a fire sign or particularly a Leo with the Sun card in the reverse. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, see, you've moved on. You've moved on. This person's not happy without you because they know you've moved on. Six of Swords, you overcame this. Now the thing is, this person wants to wants to move on from all the drama, right? Because to be in a Six of Swords energy, you got to move away from the Five of Swords energy, which is the drama, the conflict, the arguing, the fighting, the mind games, the manipulation, like all of those conflicts. Like this person does have an energy of like wanting to do better. I just think they really don't know how. This person is real stuck. And they're they're they've been used they've been living a certain way for so long that this person thinks this is like a way of life this is this person's way of living so they don't know what what to do next to change their situation but they know they want to be happy they're tired of being unhappy I will tell you that here yeah there goes that five of dango wands upright. I'm telling you, six six of swords, five of wands, somebody wants to move away from the drama, the conflict. You know, somebody here, whoever this toxic karmic is, whether they're a man or a woman, like somebody has a, a temper. This person might even be upset with you that you moved on. They might even have some anger or resentment towards you because you have moved on and you're not putting up with their... Yeah, they're mad at you, ace of coins. You... They either think, number one, that you've moved on to somebody else better, okay, or they feel like you turned your back and you decided, like, they feel like you're doing good. Some of y'all are doing better when it comes to your money, your finances, your stability, a new job, a new beginning into something. This person definitely feels like Ace of Wands is out here and the Ace of Coins is out here. They feel like you're doing fine, okay? They also know... The passion and the fun and the the ability to grow something fertile and long lasting is with you. Okay. Everything flourishes when it's with you. And this person hasn't flourished, I, I believe, since you left them. <clears throat> Somebody here could be a Taurus or a Aries Leo or a Sagittarius here. Clarify the terrifying. You guys, 
have a new opportunity coming your way that has something to do with like finances or career okay there's some form of offer here there's like a new beginning so either you are meeting somebody new that's stable or this is you finding a better job or uh, finding a better home like being in a more stable secure um situation and abundant living an abundant life here you're definitely saving your money you know what's so crazy here though it's like you get a lot of attention here because the queen of wands is out here you're somebody here who goes to get like you don't wait you don't you're not depending on anybody to do anything queen of swords queen of wands you're not <laughs> you are a visionary you're somebody that's strong you're somebody who can hold their own clarify the your you could be a leader you know or in management or something what, why is the hair font here the world yeah you learned a spiritual lesson and you ended this chapter with this person you're getting ready to succeed your life is getting ready to just level up if it hasn't leveled up already so a lot of y'all probably feel like your life has gotten better since you've actually disconnected and cut the cord and the energy from this person some of you guys are getting ready to travel too like there's some form of achievement or success getting ready to happen in your life clarify this queen of wands queen of wands this person misses you this person is sad they're grieving yeah and it's because they resist they're resisting this change show me queen of wands please i'm telling you this person feels like you wish you were strong right um somebody is really like wow this person is being pushed the wheel of fortune I'm telling you, you've moved on. They feel like you're doing better. You're looking better. Your life is doing better. You don't depend on anybody for anything. You've moved on. You're doing well in life, okay? This is Wheel of Fortune. It's about good luck, but it's also about change. It's about moving on. And this person is watching you change, wishing they had changed, or trying to figure out how they're going to change because they're in this grieving and sadness and like Five of Cups and the Sun card in reverse. Yeah, they're sad that you the moon they're secretly like clarify the moon you could be dealing with a cancer here why is the moon here yeah eight of cups in reverse this person <laughs> is with this other person for the wrong reasons that's why they haven't left that's why they haven't left this person has a lack of direction in their own life. They, like I said, even if they want to do better, which I feel like they do want to do better collective, it's just this person is, they're, the sun card is already out here. With this eight of cups in reverse, that tells me this person is like not, they're faking that they're happy. So on the outside, some, they're trying to make some shit look good or they're saving face, but low key, this person is not happy. Five of cups is here. This person... It has been dishonest with themselves and they're being dishonest with other people. They're being dishonest with their family. They're being dishonest with their friends. They're lying and saying that they are okay and they're not okay. They're keeping this hidden. The moon is here. They're keeping this hidden. There goes that uh, justice card, Libra energy here. Show me this justice energy. This person might be afraid to walk away because uh, of some form of justice, okay? Like legal problems, they, the karmic might make it hard for them. But I'm telling you, it's going to be a, a life lesson for this person for sure. Yeah, nine of swords in, re, in, re, in reverse. Some, I'm telling you, somebody is going through some mental and emotional anguish here. This person is going through so much regret. This person has a lot of trauma that they really need to heal. And they have a lot of unresolved issues in their own life that I feel like have nothing to do with you. Or this person has a lot of baggage from a past life. A lot of karma, karmic debt from a past life too. 
um they're just in so much regret they just don't really know what the heck to do right now yeah knight of swords this person doesn't know if they're coming or they're going you know this is somebody here who makes like decisions uh so like abruptly you know the knight of swords and somebody is somebody here who's real talkative you know uh but they're like the Nine of Swords is an energy of somebody that, how can I say this? I don't want to say on the spectrum, but like someone who might be really, really smart. Um, but how can I say this? But they're not mature in their decisions. You know what I'm saying? So when they do make decisions, it's not completely thought out. It's just like on a whim. Yeah, the hermit in reverse. This person is paralyzed by fear. You could be dealing with a Virgo here. This person feels like restricted and stuck. And I'm telling you, they're stuck in a situation. Why is this person stuck? Why is this person feeling restricted? Why does this person feel stuck and restricted? Nine of Wands, because like I, like I said, they know it's going to take a lot of work. They know it's going to take a lot of work and they are not sure if they are strong enough to do it. This person sees you as this Queen of Wands energy, somebody who's strong, Queen of Swords, somebody who sets boundaries and pushes forward and is honest with themselves and other people. And this person is looking at you like, how the hell does the collective do that? I don't know how to do that for myself. Nine of Wands. What is this? 10% reverse, like I said. 10% reverse is not having balance, is doing an excess of something, not making smart choices, not making smart decisions, which is that Knight of Swords being impulsive, you know what I'm saying? Like, really, like, self-indulgence, you know? All right, let's see. Show me more about this masculine. Thank you, spirit. Overindulgence, like we just said. Like we just said. You guys hit the like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Like I said, this person does nothing in moderation. They just do whatever the heck they feel like doing because it seems smart at the time or is going to satisfy some need or some selfish desire at that time. You know, but this person is in deep regret. They're in deep sadness and re regret and remorse. Five of Cups, Nine of Wands, the Hermit in Reverse, the Sun card in Reverse, like Nine of Swords in Reverse, Two of Wands, Five of Wands, like whoever this person is, like I said, this person's like somebody here who is living a double life. They lie to themselves and they lie to other people. I'm pretty sure I said that, right? Um, This person may lie to you about the smallest things or they're lying to themselves about the smallest things. Selfish actions, exactly. This person just wants what they want. They don't think about anybody else or that's how this person, you know, treated you when you were with them. This person could be obsessed with you or this karmic could be, yeah, toxic karmic love. Look at this. Um, If, if this isn't, for some of y'all, this is this masculine who's toxic and they're obsessed with you is for some reason or they could have this karmic person. <sighs> feel like this person is staying regard like convenience marriage codependence so this karmic this is that karmic's energy here they're with this crazy ass karmic because of they're married out of convenience for some of you all or they're with this person or living with this person i just heard even if they aren't married you know they're refusing to see like that this connection is like the self destructive and they're refusing to see the destruction that they're in or the drama drama out life that they're in show me what else here yet and still they want you to take a chance on them and unblock them that's a no collective that's a no but see, this person sees you as, yeah, they cheated on you. This person wants you to know they're sorry that they cheated and they want to know, do you still love them? They feel like, I'm surprised I don't see the Queen of Cups out here yet. Yeah, somebody they're with, I'm telling you, knows that your person's still in love with you and they are really spiteful. They're putting this person through it and that's another reason why this person isn't happy. This person th thinks about you also. 
a lot and there could be some form of like telepathy so you may want to cleanse your energy if you don't want the, this energy to be connected to you okay this person wants to travel and go on a trip or a getaway with you yeah i told you they're very attractive to you this queen of wands is out here all right third party situation just came out yeah divine masculine this divine masculine is is a pathological liar you guys yeah a very dishonest person that's out here multiple times um let's see what's going on with show me this karmix energy we'll just talk about the karmic a little bit show me this karmix energy this karmic has an addiction for some of you guys the addiction could be drugs it could be alcohol it could be control i just heard um and this is something this person has either gotten help for before, been to rehab, or this person needs to go to rehab, okay? Someone here could be a sex addict, too. So if your person cheats, this karmic probably cheats, too. I'm telling you, the both of them are karmic. Yeah. This karmic it has a victim mentality, too. Now, for a lot of you guys, if your person is a karmic, your person has an addiction, okay? They have a sex addiction, and they feel, like, helpless to change their life, you know? Uh, but they can change their life whenever they want to. It's like they're waiting on somebody to rescue them, you know? But the thing is, it's like, it, it seems like to me, the, the karmic and your person trauma bonded. It's like they had the same issues, which makes sense, right? Because you're when something is karmic, you're meant to meet each other to learn some form of lesson and then grow from that, heal from it, and then move on, not stay doing the same stuff for 10, 20 years. <laughs> I feel like <clears throat> this karmic and this other person trauma bonded and just rushed and did stuff and they didn't even they didn't even um pay attention to like they feel like they bonded through trauma show me more here definitely bonded through abandonment issues you know because there's a fear of loss here like somebody's just afraid of being abandoned they may have been abandoned as a child your person definitely has abandonment issues for sure right we saw that five of pentacles out there you know what's so crazy? Like, someone here is very insecure. And I feel like this is the karmic and your person. Somebody's not... If someone appears to look great on the outside, they are really insecure on the inside about their looks, their appearance, their body. Um, They feel unattractive. This is like the energy of somebody who dresses up and wears all these name brand clothes or whatever it is that they do try to look happy on the outside but on the inside sun card in reverse they don't feel attractive no matter how much money you spend on a shirt some shoes a hairdo or some makeup if you don't feel good on the inside then you don't feel good on the inside <clears throat> that's the reality Show me more here about this situation. Yeah. So I'm telling you, somebody is pretending and putting on a show. Like I literally just said, somebody is acting like everything looks may look good on the outside, but it's not good. And somebody's definitely still cheating over there, by the way. Because we have getting a room, hotel, motel, business, pleasure, suite. So somebody could be saying they're traveling for business and they're really not. Maybe somebody could really travel for business and meet people for, for sex. I don't, I don't know. 
But this 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 masculine is upset with you here. Here's the deal. They got upset with you and like deleted some stuff that they had or like this karmic may have when they went through their person's phone. They could have deleted stuff and they could have gotten into an argument and they just told your, your person to delete all of that stuff. They may have even found like your person telling you that they loved you and they were and they were like, no, delete the stuff right now. Prove to me that you don't love them. Delete it. That's not for everybody, okay? Third eye. <sighs> Trust your third eye here because I feel like if this person comes back towards you, uh, offer just came out, but offer just came out in reverse. So to me, that says like this might not be the best offer when this person comes back towards you. They may still have some more drama or still be somehow connected to this your person. Clarify this offer energy. Yeah, it's a dirty offer. If they come back towards you, it's just for sex. Because self-pleasure is here. Okay? They, this person has low self-esteem, low self-worth. Look at this. Self-worth in reverse and expectations in reverse. Like, the, the, like, if you don't have any high expectations, if you talk to this person, I'm telling you, all they want to do is have sex. Boss came as out here in reverse. Somebody here could have lost a job. Um, that's not for everybody here. Yeah, you can't trust this person. Look at this. This person, you've completed the cycle. You're done. Show me what else here for the collector. I feel like you guys are focused on your your own stability. Your yeah, look at this. Family and home and commitment just came out in reverse. And family issues came out with that. <laughs> Ooh, child, you know, it's not good over there. It's not. I don't care how well somebody want to post some of the social media and post a little picture or say they doing this or say they went there or say they bought this or say they bought that or they got on matching damn outfits for Valentine's Day. I don't give a damn. When you listen to me and I tell you, it's a bunch of smoke and mirrors. But anyway, I don't know what else to tell y'all. I feel like I'm just going to leave it there because I'm tired of talking about this. I love y'all. I'll see you later, okay? Bye.